If you're watching this video, you're likely paying attention to our PCV relocation series for the B8 and C7 3OT supercharged engines. This is a video going over a new piece of equipment from Merck Racing that is going to make this job 100% bolt-on without the need for excessive modification of any parts. Stick around, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Odyssey 7 Owners and I'm Cameron as always. Today's video is all about this shiny metal piece that I've got in my hand here. This is a PCV housing adapter from Merck Racing. This is gonna be something that you guys can order as of right now. If you check the link in the description below for the pre-order, you can go on and place an order for this as well as any other part of the Merck Racing 3OT PCV relocation kits. You can get a whole kit or individual pieces. So check that link below. But what this is, is a piece that replaces the bottom half of the relocated PCV. This is the pancake PCV if you watch our DIY, also uh, linked in the description below. But if you remember it, if you've watched it or you haven't even, on the bottom, these pieces here, we have to modify them, we have to hollow them out with a Dremel, we have to put fittings in there and JB weld them so that they stay in there. It's a mess. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do. Not everybody's comfortable doing that. Even when I did it, I put a hole through the bottom. I had to JB weld that shut. Uh, just not ideal. And a lot of people that kind of made them shy away from it. So Merc Racing came up with a metal PCV housing adapter that's gonna go into the bottom of this. And it's got threaded ports. I'm gonna show you how to use this and how to install this, but it's got threaded ports on the bottom to just screw in fittings, making this a bolt-on system, a full bolt-on system. The only thing that you at home would have to fabricate or make are your custom engine lines, which is super simple to do. So no more dremeling, no more JV welding or anything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything over to the bench and I'm gonna show you how to take apart the PCV, what parts you need from the OEM one and how you install it to the housing adapter. And then we'll get it on the car and I'll show you what it looks like. Of the PCV housing adapter from Merc Racing. Now mine is one of the initial test runs and so it's raw metal. Yours that you're gonna be getting will likely be anodized black uh, according to Jose. So keep that in mind, it might look a little different. But as you can see here, he added this uh, little section here that's gonna allow you, if you wanna get a custom bracket made for this to mount it, it's got two threaded holes here. You can go to your local metal guy and get something machined. Otherwise, as you can compare it to the OEM PCV that uh, we used in our original DIY video where we cut this off and hollowed this out. Now we've just got two threaded ports that are set up for AN or half inch NPT. I'm using half inch NPT to 10 AN fittings, straight fittings for my setup. It might vary with however you wanna adapt it, but that's the great thing about this. No more cutting this, no more hollowing this out and using JB Weld to fit in your fittings to create lines. So the way you put this together is really simple. Uh, it helps to have a screwdriver. You're gonna pop these tabs. You can see all the way around this housing on this lid, there are these little plastic tabs and you should be able to see it there. And you just wanna get in here and gently pry. Don't get anything way up in there to where you might damage the rubber diaphragm, but just walk it around and eventually it'll pull apart. And so once we have it open, you can disregard this piece, don't need it anymore, but you can see you've got a spring, a rubber diaphragm and a cap. Make sure it's clean. You don't need anything from this piece, so that's done. The cap, when you set it in here, you can see that it's got a channel in the rubber diaphragm. And if you look inside the cap, there's a channel here. You wanna make sure that sits down in there all the way down. So once we have that, we take our spring and it doesn't matter which way you put it in there. You just wanna set it here. And the easiest way to do this is not to take this and try and flip it over because everything's gonna fall out. Take the housing adapter, line up with the tabs, set it in here, and then press it shut. And it might take a little bit of force because this is a very tight fit and it's designed to be that way. Make sure everything's lined up with the tabs correctly. And then once you get them over the teeth of the housing adapter, you're gonna have to use your thumbs to go in here and press them all the way down shut. Now, once you have it completely sealed up, you can go ahead and add your fittings of whatever kind. Once again, I'm using half inch NPT to 10 AN. Now people say with NPT, you don't need any Teflon tape to seal it. I'm using some just as a precaution. And this is gas line Teflon tape because that's all I had. Regular Teflon tape will work. We're gonna put it in here and we're gonna get these threaded up and we're just going to do a hand tighten and then I'll get a wrench and torque it down just a little bit. Nothing overzealous because this is a low pressure system. You don't need anything crazy tight on this. 
So once you have these all torqued down, this is ready to install on your relocated PCV system however you want. I'm gonna go and take off my old PCV adapter and housing that I've got on the current car, get this threaded up and installed, and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's do a quick comparison of the OEM bottom of the PCV, the one that I originally had on when I did the relocation, and then now the new PCV with the Merc Racing Kit. So we'll start with the one that I modified and compare it to the OEM one. So I got them lined up here, and you can see the different pieces here. You can see where this one, we had to do the JV Weld on it, and it held, it just doesn't look very pretty. It doesn't look nice and clean or anything like that. Uh, this one here, when I just tried to take it off and unscrew it, this actually came loose from the JB Weld I put in here. I don't think it was leaking or anything. I think I just broke the seal when I tried to take off the AN line. Uh, so I had to get another wrench to hold it steady. But still, once again, it doesn't look pretty. You can see here when I did my modification, I had to JB Weld on here because I kind of put a hole in it because I basically drum up too far. Uh, I'll get this opened up and show you what that looks like. But you can see what it originally looked like versus what it looks like with the fittings on there. So now we'll move this around and we got it compared side by side with the Jose, or I'm sorry, the Merc Racing kit from Jose, the one he developed. And you can just see how much cleaner this looks. Uh, additionally, instead of keeping the OEM little tab here for however that mounted on an OEM 3.2 engine, that's, you know, he created that one that's gonna allow you to come up with any kind of bracket that you want. I'm just gonna put that back on the car with zip ties like this one was. I'll show you what it looks like when it's back on there, but this is so much cleaner, so much easier to do. It's gonna save you so much time versus modifying this and getting fittings in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the car and we will check it out. All right, we've got everything put back on the car and the new housing adapter fit perfectly. Went right back where my old one was. I can show it to you here. I've got it zip tied to the hard lines uh, once again. Eventually one day I'll get some kind of custom bracket made to take advantage of that. But for now, this will work just fine. And it was super simple to swap out if you've already done this job and have the custom, you know, the, the dremeled out bottom piece. This is a super simple swap. Might take you total 15 minutes taking your time. But if you're doing this as a brand new project, then this is really easy to do. This cuts out at least an hour to an hour and a half worth of time modifying the uh, bottom of this piece. So big shout out to Jose Merc Racing for once again, hearing the feedback from people, hearing my crazy thoughts and ideas and saying, hey, we can do that and then making it happen. So once again, check the links in the description below if you're interested in buying any of these products or wanna get the full kit so that you can go ahead and relocate the terrible PCB that comes on this car and make it a lot easier for yourself. Like and subscribe for me if you haven't already. That really helps out this channel and helps me keep bringing you new content and stuff that hopefully you guys really like to see. And yeah, leave any comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other ideas. And as things progress with this project and things continue to develop and other things get updated and made available, I will obviously let you know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video.